What's the result of living by the wisdom of the world rather than the wisdom of God? And what should Christians do when they realize that's the path they've been on? Well, our good friend James answers those questions in chapter four. Take a look at verses one through two. What is causing the quarrels and fights among you? Don't they come from the evil desires at war within you? You want what you don't have, so you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have, but you can't get it, so you fight and you wage war to take it away from them. You don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. Human nature hasn't changed much since these words were written. And as James points out, quarrels and fights come from our desire for things that we don't have. We want a better job, a more affectionate spouse, a place on the team or a bigger house, any number of things. And when we don't get what we want, we can get upset. We strive and we argue and we fight to get what we want. The assumption is, I need it or I deserve it. But according to James, most of our desires stem from our love for the world and the things in it. So evaluate your desires today. Where do they come from? Why do we have them? Is it because advertisements convince us that we deserve something newer or better? Or maybe it's because our neighbors or our relatives have nicer things than we do. And we're just as good and hardworking as they are. Listen, this kind of subtle resentment leads to bitterness and frustration. And as James says, resist the devil and instead come close to God. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. Are you unhappy or quarrelsome today? If so, ask yourself, how many of your desires are justifiable or really important? Then draw near to God, the source of all blessing, and he will, in his time, lift you up.